All right, a little pre-ride action. Um, seems like good pressure. Just did a 12 hour drive. I did eight yesterday, four this morning. Hustled over to the venue. The tent is set up and waiting for me. I'm gonna get this little course recon in. Probably do the last 10K or so. And then it's back to the Grand Traverse Resort and Hotel for the Expo, which goes until 9 p.m. tonight. Full gas today. It's a good thing I've got like eight burritos stashed away in the van. All good? Yeah. That's real white. White dumped the chain it. Oh, good to figure it out today. Better today than tomorrow. Yeah. Hello. Pretty spicy here at the end. A lot of extra up and down. And this is Icebreaker Hill. People lined up two or three deep, just like. <laughs> this is my favorite part. So much energy here. Not much room to sprint. All right, now it's back to the expo. I did get some beta on the course. Somebody told me that like, basically the first 18 miles are all single track. That's why I've got the hey hey. Last two years I did this race on drop bars, which was a fun experiment. And I think those courses were fun for the drop bar, but I heard about some weather up here earlier this week. So I was worried that it was gonna be muddy. So muddy with more single track. Maybe the drop bars wasn't the best idea. Now we're on the hey hey with aspens and it looks like Velcro. Extra Halloween candy. I'm handing it out here for sure. Can't have it in the house. Five push-ups, you right. get a hat. Oh, real push-up too. Impressive. Oh, you're getting a little shaky, man. Oh. <laughs> you almost cool. didn't make that. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I registered. We're getting close, you're number 43. 43. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, thanks. Everybody thinks he's so cute, but man, if I had Sherm here, he really wouldn't stand a chance. Check this. This should be my single speed cyclocross world championship kit. I got My it. My name's Brian Motter. How old are you? Are you are you allowed to ask that? I am. 45 years old. And how many ice games have you done? This will be number 42. 29. Wow. 29? Wow. 29. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I asked the how old are you question, because he shouldn't be here. He's too old. <laughs> I, got you. Have you I, I should yeah. be here. I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> what, what makes ice man special? Man, look around. I've been, I mean, I've been doing it for 29 years. I think I was 14 or 15 when I did it the first time. Probably wearing sweatpants and a hoodie. And uh, just how, I don't know, the vibe, the energy. Okay, we're gonna get some dinner real quick with the legend. Brian Motter, who's won this race 29 times. I'm only 32 years old, and he's won this race 30, 29 times. Crazy. So, Do you have a special table here? <laughs> did, you, did you know that you have won the race 29 one, two, times? I think there's 29 uh, por tables favor, in here. Por favor, Garzón, uh, the <laughs> corner for uh, Brian Martin. For the Legenda. Uh, 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 you know, I've sat at every table in this place. One table per year? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Dinner's done, 7.45, another hour and 15 minutes of expo time. We gotta get rid of all these koozies and stickers. That's the end of the Ice Cycle Expo. How was the expo? Bien. Bastante buena. Bastante buena. Fue un éxito. Fue un éxito. It's a great success. Breaking down. 
tomorrow. We're leaving the hotel at 1.30. Brian Motter invited me for breakfast, so that's kind of exciting. I don't know what I'm gonna do all day though. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna pretend that I'm racing my bike. When do you start? 10, 12. Nice. Good morning. Just had breakfast. Look at this freaking charge bag. Douche. But I need to go hunt some cereal for lunch, so heading out. <laughs> Frosty this morning. It was like 34 degrees. It's gonna be like 46 for race time though. What's it gonna be? Silly rabbit. Turned milk pink. I think we have a winner. I like cow milk. I'll mess around with all these other weird milks. I'm a traditionalist. I gotta get out of here. 11.10. The bike is pretty much ready. I just gotta put a new waxed chain on and then check tire pressure when I get there. But now, we gotta make some bottles. So here's my plan. It's only a 90 minute race. So I think I'm just gonna do 90 grams in each bottle. So I'm gonna do two scoops of high sodium flavorless, one scoop of strawberry. It's like more than I need for the race, but the alternative would be to do less in the bottles and then do some of the gel mix, but I don't wanna have to like reach into my back pocket. If I can just reach down and grab a water bottle, I think that's better. Look at that, no grease, nothing. <laughs> New Shimano quicklings are pretty tough to snap. <sighs> okay, we're race ready. Now just hang out for another hour and 20 minutes. Actually two hours. 11.30, we're leaving here at 1.30. Lesby, Andrew Lesby, Haley Hunter-Smith, and Brian Motter and I all taking the bike flights van over to the start. It's gonna be a party. Dude, no loitering. What the? <laughs> break into this van? You're serious about shorts, huh? Yeah. I guess that's the Canadian in you. Warm. I'm thinking arm warmers, a jersey, maybe a vest, buff, hat. Hey, Haley. I'm doing some serious math here. 56 minutes till go time. Till go time. <laughs> Haley's got the rollers rocking. So you've done this before. What? When? Three years ago. 2019. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Back when I raced for Norco. Okay. Yeah. It was so much fun. Hey, did you win BWR Asheville? No. Oh, there's some other Canadian with a French name, and I could have sworn it was you, but Adam? No, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, that's almost racist. I'm just hearing <laughs> racism, dude. <laughs> some other Canadian, some Canadian with, a with a French name. Dude. Okay, should I say Quebecois or something? Like some other. I mean, I'm not Quebecois. Yeah. I mean, I think somehow I've been accepted by the Quebecois because I do have a French name. <laughs> Good but, for you, but, man. But maybe not. Good for you. Well, people will comment, and yeah. then you'll know. <laughs> Brian Motter here, <laughs> Channel Bike Flights News. <laughs> Getting ready for Iceman, Lesby. I was gonna say, you know you're facing it at yourself, right? Brian Motter TV? Oh, Is that what we should call it? Brian Motter TV. Oh, man. That might be, uh, What's his logo gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> what pressure should I run? Well, be? I'm running 16 and a half, but I only weigh 150 pounds. I think I'm gonna do like 2018. It looks like it's 80 PSI, dude. Oh, wait. <laughs> Perfect. This is a gunked Perfect. up. Gunked up. 30 seconds. Hey everybody. 15. All right, spectators, let's make some noise. Let's get them out of here. Three, two, one, go!
guys are filming yeah. you. Do you, you want to say them? hi? What's up, buddy? <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's his name? Roger. 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 Nice car heart, dude. <laughs> dude, tell people about your race today. Oh, man. Just look at me. If you're nervous, just talk to me. All right. Uh, about my race today, it was, it was good. We spent a lot of, me and Brian spent a lot of time We did together. spend a lot of time together. He we, pulled me back onto the group we after. We almost didn't make it. We got a little disconnected there about 10, 12 miles in. Yeah, yeah, that was the new section that I hadn't previewed. There was a significant climb, and we were in trouble. Yeah. But teamwork makes the dream work. But we rallied. We rallied. We made it back. Mostly Brian rallied. And then we followed wheels. Sat in a lot. To the finish line. Yeah, basically. I did one. I did one try for like the sneaky roll off the front. Did you? I did. It didn't work. No, I didn't do that at all. And then uh, that was about it. Um, Anticlimactic at the end there. Um, you passed me. You came by me up Icebreaker Hill looking like you were going straight to the front. <laughs> <laughs> what happened after that? Uh, after that, I held my position, but I, I picked up. I went by you and Jordan. Yeah. And then uh, that was it. Then once you get into the single track, couldn't get around. Yeah, I know, because I could see you like just on the other side of the U-turn the whole time, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, damn." Lesby laid it down in the final corner. So I, I laid it down him. in the final corner, dude. That final corner was like you come up over the, you come up over this little bump, and then from all the other racers before us, just dragging this like little gritty sandy stuff on there, and then the front wheel like gets unweighted up over that bump and then it just like it just went it was like ice i was very cautious around that corner i didn't i was like oh pavement i can push but i but i saw lesby so i was like oh he's already down be careful i almost i almost i went down and took jordan into the fence with me and i almost was able to pull the bike up and still sprint <laughs> but he came around me Sorry, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. That's racing. That's racing. We'll be back next year. So what do you think? You were what? Sixth? I think seventh. I think I was like ninth or tenth. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Cross nets. Yeah. Well, single, single speed cycle cross world champs first. Then Hendersonville. Then cross nets. Are you done? I'm going to go to Prescott, hang on the sunshine for a while and ponder life and then most likely do cross nets. Nice, yeah. cool. Yeah. I think there could be an after party starting right in cabin 187 over here. Let's go check it Michigan. out. We're gonna check this out. Simonson. Simonson. We need a, we need Walk a interview. Walk over here. We need yeah, to Simonson. do an interview. We're doing an interview. 2006 oh. champion. It's the 2000, 2006 uh, champ. Dude, I'll tell you the quick story. We raged off the start line. Oh, thank you. Harder than today. Way harder than today. Simonson putting down the power. The first little single track. My pedal hit a root and I was ejected 30 feet over my handlebar. What Simonson went solo from the beginning. I'm the one watching the channel. Joe is the one. You're the only one? Yeah, I'm the one. You know, like you always say, like, you always say, like, you're the one that watches the channel. Like, like, he's the one. I'm the one. He's the one who comments. He was just telling me about your 2006 Iceman win. Oh, Jesus. Right. Here we go. Here we go.